Why the name, System Arcadia? We were having a conversation with uh, my friend Paul and his roommate Vince. And when we were thinking of names, he said to us, you know, you guys work with arcade machines, you should use the name something like Arcadia. And so we played with it for a little bit, and we decided to go with Project Arcadia at first, but then we realized System Arcadia comes off the tongue a lot nicer. What inspired you to start, or you to be one of the founders of this whole entire thing? Because this is a huge endeavor, and I know it's not something that's very easy to do. Especially starting a business, it's a very entrepreneurial thing. Yeah. Is it the mindset, or did you just have a vision? Like, what made you want to start System Arcade? So, there's two particular groups in the community that have inspired me to make what we have right now. Uh, there's Anthony who runs Tokyo Tech. He is the traveling Japanese arcade that goes to all the conventions around the country. He's the biggest um, Japanese distributor in the country right now. And then there's Attack the Music who for the last 10 or so years have been running a show at ASEN in Chicago called Hardcore Synergy. And they have been working with Japanese artists way before I ever thought of trying to do this. So. Um, between knowing people in both of those groups and just seeing that New England has none of those kinds of things, I felt very compelled to run a company where I could both show my passion to the, to the world and to project out the love we have for rhythm games and the J4 scene as a whole. Why rhythm games? Why, you know, like anything competitive, mainstream, like League of Legends, Smash? Why rhythm games? Why rhythm games? games? Yes. Because once upon a time, when I was 10 years old, my father passed away. Okay. And my mother brought a friend over who um, brought me over a copy of DDR 3rd and 4th Mix on PlayStation 1 as a way for me to, like, escape the bad feelings and keep my mind busy. Mm -hmm. Ever since the first time I tried it, I never stopped playing. And uh, D DDR and rhythm games in general have just become the ultimate escape for me to mm -hmm. get away from everyday life and to really feel music and be a part of things. And there's something happening today with DDR. What's going on? So we had a uh, tournament at Shine this past weekend. Um, you got second place and I got first place. We were the finalists and it was a good time. Um, as I am a 2DX player, I have to put myself down. Champions of the Coast is the same weekend and that is a national level tournament and we're not there. So I can only be so happy about the tournament win, but it's still nice to be able to get a tournament win in the region for the first time in years. Yeah. Um, I didn't practice for this tournament whatsoever. I was just playing pump to just kind of lose weight, but um, today I was really feeling it and mm -hmm. I was able to get some really good MA, uh, especially during the semi-final and final matches. Mm -hmm. And how did you feel during the grand final? Like, what was going on in your mind? Did you blank out? I, uh, yeah, because I, I thought that I thought I was going to get wiped the floor with because it's 15 plus, and I don't really play a lot of 15 plus on DDR. Yeah. I, um, I know the extreme tens, you know, like from the old stuff, mm -hmm. but none of the old stuff. So when we got to the picks down in the finals, I saw that there was Max Unlimited and then there was the Poggy B. So I did get a little lucky on the picks, yeah. but I, I had to execute on those picks, and I'm proud of my performance. Right, because it wasn't just free. You had to still yeah. give it 100. Yes, absolutely. Gave it my all, um, and I and I hope to just get better from this point forward because I do plan on continue playing. I've been playing a lot this summer to try and lose weight, but I do want to get more competitive like I was a decade ago. Yeah, and can you give like a little bit of the lineups that we got at Shine? Like, what did you bring? So what I machines brought did you bring? Um, DDR X3. I brought Pop It Up Prime 2. Mm -hmm. I brought UB Clan. I brought Poffin 24, um, which is Lucinico, mm -hmm. and I brought Tetris the Grandmaster on a real board on the Nastra City. And then I brought a DJ Max on a PlayStation 4 with uh, <laughs> everything unlocked. Hell yeah, there we go. And that is Alex Sigma, one of the co-founders and owners of System Arcadia. Thank you so much. Thank you. More, more energy.